It's fall, y'all. So anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready for the day. Um, I know y'all can't really see me. I'm gonna push this back some. We're gonna go for brunch, JB and I. Those of you who don't know, my husband is officially away. He's in Kansas. Oh, girl, throughout all the holidays, um, JB's birthday, I haven't told him that too. Yeah, my baby's gonna be 11 years old. Can y'all believe that? 11. We're gonna have to have another talk about puberty. No, my husband needs to have that talk. And y'all, my hair is still a little wet. And so, I'm so country. Nothing wrong with being country, but I'm wearing a blue um, jumper suit. So, I want to wear something that's, I don't want to look crazy. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So, it's the busy, busy, busy work week for me. I could go like this. But let's see what it looks like with a little razzle dazzle about. I'm just gonna make it look cute or something. You can't be coughing like that in public. That's cute. What about that, y'all? Yeah, that's cute. So I got my makeup brushes out because I need to wash my makeup brushes. And this is not all my makeup brushes, which is, you know, and in my opinion, this isn't necessarily a lot. Um, but anyway, I need to wash my makeup brushes. Um, I don't know how often you're supposed to wash your makeup brushes. I'm gonna guess like once a month. But since I don't even wear makeup like this anymore, I don't need to see the need to. And this is just what I did, y'all. This is. I don't have no on no foundation. I just have on pressed powder, um, rouge, lipstick, a little bit of underlying mascara. I don't don't look at my eyebrows too much because I didn't even do that right. God, he woke up at he woke up at six o'clock this morning saying he doesn't feel good. I'm like, explain what don't feel good mean. All right, y'all. Let me put this on here. I need to make up my bed. That's what I'll do. Fully make up my bed because let me tell you something. I am going to put on some hoops. Y'all see how I am? Um, this man, when he's here, uh-oh, meeting my husband, he does not get up for a while, y'all. Well, y'all don't blame him, hell. If I only worked, do assignments twice a year, too, I wouldn't get out of bed. Just stay in bed all day. Living in this area when there's construction going on is hell. I woke up. It, it has been a hell of a week. One, this is the first week my husband left. I started a contract job. And those of you don't know, I do this every now and then. I take on a contract job just for a little extra money, which is really good right now during the winter time, excuse me, during the holiday season. As a mom, when it's, you know, this type of season, I'm very involved. And so JB has a Thanksgiving dinner next week. Oh, heck, it's school Friday. He gets out of school early Friday. So I'm cooking dressing for them and a coconut cake. So I already did. I very I plan things in advance, you guys. So, but my parents are coming for Thanksgiving. I'm super excited. Um, now my mother has, she does a free community Thanksgiving meal out in East Texas every year. She's been doing this now for five years. <sighs> I told her I was coming, but I can't do it, y'all. I can't. Because we're going to be going back to East Texas. I don't really want to travel a lot. Oh, because this is a thing. Because there's a lot of construction going on. Let me put my shoes on, y'all. Because there's a lot of construction in this area going on. I had a nail in my tire. When was that? 
thirsty of all days. I had a nail in my tire. I'm like, what the hell? I can't, I don't want to pay for no new tires. So I went to a tire place over here. And normally, let me tell you something. Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me. When I go to an auto shop, I make sure that I look the part. I make sure that my face is, is put together. I make sure I'm put together. I look clean. I put on a little lipstick, put on some hoops. Cause I'm like, I, I'm, you know, I'm a top. I speak real, real soft. I allow the Southern accent to come out just a little bit more. And I, I, I put my, my octave up a little higher. So they think I'm maybe 30, 30, 30, 34, 35 years old, not 43 years old. Cause you know, when you get older, you get more testosterone. So anyway, yeah, <laughs> anyway. I do this so that they don't try to, you know, jip me for stuff. Cause I'm there as a woman. And I smooth it up. Like, I'm going to tell you something. I even told my husband I do this. And he's like, do what you got to do. But I do this so that I get discounts. I get something. So I was like, I'm ready. What we got? Child, I walk in and it's a full-fledged on um, lesbian. Lesbian. I said, oh, shit. Well, you got to take one for the team. <laughs> no, she was a baby. She was like 20-something years old. But I told her, I said, look. Um, I got a nail in my tire. She's like, well, it's a two hour wait. I'm like, Melissa. I think her name was Melissa. No, her name was, I don't know what her name was. We're going to call her Melissa. I'm like, Melissa, two hours? Baby, two hour waits. I said, so do y'all got Wi-Fi? Because I bought my work laptop. I didn't tell her this, but I had my work laptop and I figured I could work. She said, oh, no, we don't have Wi-Fi. This hick-ass town. This baby getting ready. I'm like, fine. I'm like, shit. But in between all that, I'm making small conversation with this young lady, right? And so just talking, she let it slip that she has a child because I was telling her how my child driving me crazy at school lately. He's better now. But she's like, yeah, my son is the same way. And I'm thinking, okay, you fool on lesbian, but you got a son? I'm not going to judge. Then later on, you know, just talking, going by, she's telling me about her crazy, um, her crazy woman. I'm like, okay, then she got a, she got a woman. Okay. And then she's talking. She's like, yeah, because those Leos. I'm like, what, 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 what about the Leos? She said, why? You a Leo too? I said, yes, I am. Yes, ma'am. I'm a Leo. But girl, I long story short, I got to the point, y'all, look, I ask people questions. And I let her know. I said, look, can I ask you a question? And you could tell me to mind your own damn business. I'm up front. Okay, baby, just give me five minutes. Yeah. I said, you could let me know, mind your damn business. I said, so you clearly um, have a baby and you got a you got a girl. She said, oh, yeah, yeah. She's actually my wife. I said, oh, more power to you. Bless y'all. Good for you, baby. So I said, so are you a full um, lesbian or you bisexual? She said, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a lesbian. But basically, she told me she had the child, a child for her mom because her other sister can't have kids. I said, Really? She said, yeah, so I had it from my mom. My mom wanted a grandkids. My, my brothers ain't going to do it. So I had the baby from my mom. I said, so, she said, is the father, so I'm, yeah, I'm nosy. I said, so is the father, is he, is he, she said, yeah, it's, I asked one of my guy friends, and I said, would he be willing to do it? And he's like, yeah, and he's, he's a good guy. He said, I'm like, what? I've heard of this, y'all. Let me hurry up, y'all. I've heard of this. I've heard of both men and women in the community that go to their homegirls or homeboys they do it naturally just to have babies i'm like what so you 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 okay yeah I, <laughs> I just find it interesting i really do but she was cool but after all that baby she didn't charge me nothing she was like okay that'll be 30 dollars, miss vivian here you go and just gave me my, my receipt and was like Shh. i said Thank you, girl. I'm allergic to shellfish, but thank you. She started laughing. You know what I mean. I'm allergic to shellfish. But thank you, girl. Thank you, Miss Melissa. Y'all, let me hush up. Let me go. I'm going to take y'all with me, okay? Okay. This boy has been throwing little crying every now and then. Like, y'all, these kids, these kids that are growing up during, during the pandemic, a lot of them, their behavior reverted. 
So you could be 10 years old and acting like you four and five years old. Their behavior reverted. And this has been, what are you saying? What am I trying to say? There's proof of this basically from pediatricians, psychologists. I mean, his cousin who is just a few months younger than him, Bonnie, same thing. Sometimes I hear her on the phone throwing tantrums. Well, we consider it tantrums. They just don't know how to handle their emotions. They just don't know how to. So it's, I don't remember being that age and just crying because something, you know, I would cry over other stuff if I got hurt, but just crying because I couldn't get my way. And maybe I, if I ask my mama, she will say, yes, the hell you were. But who knows? But now these kids cry. And I'm like, and child, I don't, I don't even dare ask my husband because I'm pretty sure he's going to tell me about all the goats he used to herd. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, y'all, enough of that. Um, I told Jamie that we just breakfast was breakfast was good, honey. It was really good, and um, I told JB I would get him some um cane, raising cane later on. And I have some leftover pizza that I order. Now, I don't eat pizza a lot, you guys. And so, like, when I mean a lot, like, maybe once or twice a year, I'll order Pizza Hut or go get pizza. And so, I got some yesterday, but I try to get thin crust because the the calories are in the crust. So, what's up? Um, I thought I was going to get online and do a little bit of work from home today even though it's saturday it's the weekend i don't mind working on the weekend y'all because i'm able to catch up look what in the heck i'm able to catch up on stuff and no one's no one's interrupting me because those of you know when you're at work even when you you know when, even when you don't work remotely when you're at work people are sending you messages um Cause they know you're online, they know you're at work. No, don't nobody know I'm online at work, so I can get a lot done in like an hour or two, more so than a full day of work sometimes. So I don't mind working on the weekend, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna sit my book down. I'm gonna continue reading my book. I'm reading a book by the author that wrote Gone Girl and Sharp Objects, great author. The story is called Dark Places, this is, and this is very dark. Um, but look, I need to find my book, <laughs> The Lovely Bones, because did y'all hear about that author? Child, she apparently had accused a um, um, black guy of rape, like I think like 15, 16 years ago. And she just, this information just came out this week. She just admitted that she lied. This man served... Like, do I say? He served like a, a while, and now she's apologizing. You know what? I think I have that book. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it away. Hell, I want to burn it. I'm gonna throw it away because I've read the book. Like a lot of people, I'm gonna throw that book away. That's ridiculous. Absolutely. Yeah, my mom was calling. Hold on. New one. So tell them what we're doing, baby. We're setting up our village. We put up every year on there, and this is the snow that goes under it. But you guys, I know that people still do Vlogmas. Mm -hmm. Vlogmas is, those of you who don't know, Vlogmas is when you vlog every day in the month of December. Um, my, my, <laughs> my overall YouTube views are so low and my vlogging videos are even lower. But y'all, my, my views are so low and Vlogmas takes up so much time. It takes a lot more time because you have to edit and upload every day. Um, so Teresa Reed, Teresa Ruiz, mira. Uh, estoy acobado. I, I'm busy. I know I said that wrong. Estoy acobado. Girl, I'm busy. <laughs> But I will be vlogging a lot more for the month of December. So I hope you guys enjoy this particular vlog. Okay? I think I pronounced it right wrong. I think I'm busy as a stoya aquafado.
this is how JV set up our village. Um, uh, oh God. Uh, it looks amazing, baby. Like, like this is supposed to be like an area, like the actual city area. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know why there's only one actual house there. It's weird, but anyway. Um, and then here is where the North Pole is at. Oh wow. Okay. And this is going towards the North Pole, and then and Santa's right there, but there's nobody there. Anyways, <laughs> we made a great kid there. Oh. oh, and here are some villages that we tried to paint black, but instead they look uh, Dominican or Puerto Rican. Uh, Wait, you tried to paint those? Yeah, because they don't have... Now you can buy black villagers, which are very expensive. Not very expensive. Look, I painted her. She looked like she going with white face. You did? I did. Don't she look good? Wonder, wonder why they look weird. Girl... Y'all, I know y'all really can't see me. Look, <laughs> I'm going to gain so much weight. Well, not really, because I'm losing weight since my husband's not here. I'm I'm in the 160s again. When he left, I was at a good 172. But I'm making something I haven't made in a very long time, and that's Rotel Dip. Um, and honestly, it's about how much, how many calories you consume throughout the day. The only thing I've had to eat was like, y'all saw we went out to eat. I literally only had half of that chicken. Hold on, y'all. I'm picking up onions off the floor. I had half of that chicken and um, one piece of that toast. That's all I've had to eat all day. So this, I probably have just a little bit. Um, and I'm not even going to make a lot. So I'm making Rotel dip just in case I haven't made this stuff. God, I would have to say the last time I made Rotel dip, I was in my twenties. So like 20 years ago, this is the last time. Cause one, we don't eat beef. We don't eat, um, ground beef at home. We do eat steak, but child. So y'all, I really don't like to talk about my family on my on my channel, but I'm gonna talk about my family on my channel. Meaning, I don't really like to go into my personal life that much, but sometimes your family be acting like family, and this is why we 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 got and y'all. When I've been drinking, I just buy one of these little things. Like I have bottles of wines, but I just prefer to have one of these little things and nurse it over like two days. All right, y'all. So sorry, we got this towel here because my husband puts oil in his hair. So he, when he was here, we just keep this towel here. But anyway, y'all, before I got back on cam with y'all, I was looking up. I am so, my Corolla, my car now is the longest car I've had ever in my adult life. Meaning that I've had it for seven years. I bought it when it was like only 100 miles is used, but I got it with only a, like 112 miles on it, right? Sorry, y'all, my glasses. And so my slow butt went on. I'm like, oh my God, I have 80,000 miles on my car, but I had it for seven years. I got 80,000 miles. So I looked to see, okay, what's the average long? Can a Corolla last? They're talking about 300,000 miles. That's crazy to me. I'm not going to give out my family's business, but my niece is going through, through problems. Um, she got married and pregnant last year has it been a year yeah it's been a year she got you know around this time last year sort of around this time last year and she's been struggling and having issues with her husband long story short she moved back with my mom and you know going through you know just going through the emotions with her husband but before that even happened when i was down with my sister I think it was like two or three visits ago. Oh, during, during August, all of our birthdays are in August. Y'all, my glasses. All of our birthdays are in August, right? And so my sister had did all this stuff for us. Y'all, let me look at the look at that. This is better. So my sister had planned all the stuff for my my me, my mama. Sorry, for me, my father, and my niece. And my niece showed up to, at the last minute when everybody had left. And was acting a plum fool. JV was talking to his cousin. They're like the same age. And I was like, who is... I could hear my sister yelling. Not really yelling, but going back and forth with someone. I'm like, who is she talking to? She's like, she's talking to so-and-so. My niece ain't gonna say her name. 
I'm like, I'm pulling up. I'm, I'm, I'm coming over there. Baby, I went right over there. I heard my sister crying. And not like a little bitty cry. Like, I heard her sobbing. If I could hear you through from outside, then you really saw. I went, my niece came around the corner and was like, hey, auntie. I said, sit your ass over here. I went in. And y'all, I try to watch my language on here, but your your girl is, is a full-fledged cursor. I curse her flat out, and I have no regrets. Look, I'm a, I'm a true Leo. When I go in on you, I have no regrets. None. And I can, I can walk up in your face and still say hi and bye and walk away and have no family, friends, stranger. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm like that, especially if you treat somebody who I love, my sister. Let me tell you all the latest. So not to go into all detail, but she's back home. Just really nearly talking to my sister just this weekend. And she's like, yeah, she was going back and forth with my mama. I said, wait a minute. What? Some stuff popped off with me. Because, again, she's living back with my parents. It's the one thing that you're doing it with your own mama. Now you're doing it to your grandparents, baby. I call my mama up. I'm like, I'm trying to get down to, you know, what's going on. Anyway. And um, my mama explains to me that what happened and that basically she's going back and forth. Now, mind you, this girl is there. She don't pay any bills. She's there with her child because she doesn't have a job right now, unfortunately. She doesn't have, you know, finances. She doesn't even have a vehicle. But she has a whole husband. But because of whatever's going on, you know, and it, things happen, y'all. Things happen. But the point is, you being disrespectful, living with your freaking grandparents. I'm trying to be as, as Southern Baptist as possible. But I let my mama know. I heard what happened. If that happens again, I, I said, y'all, y'all, I've been away for a long time. I'm crazy. So if I hear that this happens again, I'm pulling up. I would drive all the way up there and I would lay in on her. If she says or disrespectful, they, they, look, these folks, my parents are in their mid-60s. They ain't got time for this shit. They have raised their children. Hell, they help, help to raise their grandchildren. Now they got to deal with this and great-grandkids. Hell, no. I'm like, no, I will pull up. And if she watching this, because I know she watches my channel, I will pull up. I have no problems with it. It's just a mess. But anyway, y'all, but nothing's gonna phase me. And I try I what I don't want to happen is I don't want to get too because sometimes you have to pull yourself away from family drama. You know what I mean? So what I don't want to do is get so involved that the drama seeps into my household. Cause that's the shit we want. And I would never let that happen. But I will check people and fall back and come back into my house and be like, peace. Because I'm just like that. But, yeah. Anyway, y'all, I'm making this rotel. Yeah, this rotel. Look at my baby. Look at JB.